you see on the screen, a motif is a bar, and it's usually the last interval in a motif with more phonemes. So, um, come here, start motif. Start new motif. Uh, a phrase is to... Oh yeah, let me just tell you that also phrasing helps uh, melody still flow even if you play in a slow tempo and I you know me I love slow tempos and slow pieces so everyone 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 plays it slow I always play it even slow but I need my space to express everything I feel so even in the slow tempo you can say that you could flow the music would still flow it's not because of me guys everyone can do this because of the power of the phrasing. Uh, so a phrase is uh, two bars. And uh, when I was, so this is the phrase. Okay, let me just tell, also tell you that the first motif is not a full motif, but uh, it's still a motif. For the purpose of the whole structure of an evenness of the whole structure are treated as a motif. So this, in this case, is one motif and second motif. So two motifs, that's your phrase. And when I was trying to understand um, which motif is more prominent in a phrase, I would guide myself with harmonies. So more intense harmony would belong to more prominent motif. So eventually it looked uh, like it was structured as a hill, as a mountain. Uh, for example, here. This is first motif and second motif. So this one apparently would be more intense. The next one, look. So the second again resolving, and as you can see now, basically less. That's what I mean. So in one phrase like this, in another phrase like this. So every time a here, the same here. Here is different. I come to this more expressive harmony. For me, that's more important than than this. And again, this. Uh, a sentence is four bars. And I have chosen to structure sentences in a descending passive pattern, like a sigh. So first phrase is more prominent, second less. So what I mean by passive like a sigh, uh, it's actually generally the rule for music. If you have a music like with an active uh, intention, uh, with active energy, then most probably a second phrase will be more important because it always padam, padam, padam. It's more like more excited. Now, if you have something like smorzando over here, when everything is slowly dying, then you want to choose passive uh, type of sentence where everything is fading. In this case, tata, 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 tata. So, first more important, less, second less. I mean, also it's also descending, so it's more natural. Again, less. towards the climax part so it's a little bit more active that's why I've chosen second phrase more important and also it comes to this more open and clear and uh, more active harmony and then again second phrase first phrase more important
open mm-hmm. this side is a little bit less than this open uh, despair movement on the top and again in the end first more important and second less and it, as you can see the last phrase has two motifs 